Hey guys, so I'm in the middle of experiencing a bloody nose. So if you see the red right here, it's a bloody nose. I have both kids in my room, um, Kai and Jackson, so I might have to stop filming and take care of Jackson because he is a baby. Kai is usually pretty decent. I love you. But anyways, let's get into it. Today we are going to be talking about the murder of Anna Rep. Kina. This is a 48 hours episode, so if you're curious about that, check it out. So Anna Rapkina was a 27-year-old woman from Russia, and she was said to be very happy in her, in her, at her home, and she had a very successful job, but she had actually just in a seven-year relationship, and she was like, in her, she was obviously 27, she wanted a family, and... So, I guess, like, it was kind of, like, a little setback, which I can understand. So, enter Will Hargrove. Will Hargrove, honestly, was kind of, he kind of seemed like a bum when you research him. So, enter Will Hargrove, who kind of seems, honestly, like a loser and a bum when you research him. I'm sure... I'm sure anybody who has met some can relate. But he, for some reason... Had Anna had met he met Anna Repkina online, and Will Hargrove had actually just gotten out of a relationship with this woman named Michelle, who was married, and he was living in Michelle's house with Michelle and her <coughs> husband, and they had like this weird pack thing where it was kind of like since Michelle hadn't left her husband, he was free to date whoever he wanted, so he got on this website. This, like, dating website. And that's where he met Anna. So Anna decides to come from Russia to the United States to come and see him, to see the man that she has fallen for online. And so she did, and they spent ten days together in Michelle's house. And apparently Will treated her like a queen, which I don't know how. Because any time I've ever, like, researching this guy, he's not had a job. So I don't know how he had money. But anyways, he basically was flaunting Anna in front of Michelle. Like, maybe trying to say, because Michelle was, like, in her 30s. Like, I think she was 33 at this time. So I think he was trying to say, you know, I got a younger model because you won't leave your husband. Basically, like, something like that is what I'm thinking was his idea. So after the 10 days, um, Anna and Will decided to get engaged. And they were very adamant that this wasn't like a 90 day fiance kind of thing. It was not a male or a bride situation. They just happened to fall in love. So a whole year passes and Anna comes back. And Michelle was like, nope, you're not staying in my house. Not happening. But you can't really blame her. So, Will and Anna get their own apartment. And she is posting pictures of the engagement ring. She's just posting about her life and she is happy. And eventually it didn't take long for Will to go crying back to Michelle. Crazy children. But anyways, so he's basically going back and forth between Michelle and Anna. Anna has no idea, but Michelle knows. So Michelle decides to email, not email, um, she decided to message Anna on Facebook. And that is where Michelle saw the ring that Will had given Anna, and it was, believe it or not, it was Michelle's engagement ring from her husband. Like, it wasn't even a ring that Will had bought Michelle. Like, I can't, I can't believe it. It was not even a ring that Will had bought Michelle. It was a ring that Michelle's husband had bought her. Like, that's just low. 
So Michelle messages Anna and Will had convinced Anna that Michelle was just this crazy, jealous ex. So that is how Anna treated her. She was like, you know, you're crazy. Stop trying to chase Will and ruin my happiness. You know, things like that. Like, she offended her, man. You gotta give Anna her credit. She was awesome when you think about it. Yes, I know my face is orange. I just am trying to use that product up. It's in the wrong color. Um, I hated using it as a contour, so... I'm using it up this way to hopefully use it up faster. It is a cream... It's a cushion foundation, so hopefully it'll get used up quickly. So, anyways... The day comes for Will and Anna's wedding, and Anna has on her wedding dress, and they drive to the coast. And there is surveillance of surveillance video. Will is in Walmart because they stop in Walmart to on their way to the wedding re um, reception recital thing or whatever, and they pick up wedding dress. <laughs> And Will is in Walmart. You can see him in the in the surveillance video on the phone talking to Michelle. And he was not talking to Michelle about wedding rings. No. He was talking to Michelle about asking if he could come and spend the night at her house that night. So they drive to the coast where their wedding is supposed to be and nothing is set up. Anna was under the impression that Will was taking care of everything. And he would literally... But anyways, Will would literally call local video game stores and pretend to be talking to people for the reception. So, Anna was like, oh, well, this is just bad luck. But they decided to postpone the wedding. And there's actually surveillance footage of Anna and Will... In the McDonald's parking lot, or not in the McDonald's, in the McDonald's drive-thru, and Anna has her wedding dress on. Which is crazy. But at this point in life, Michelle had decided to tell Will that it was time, it was no, there was no going back and forth anymore. It was time to make a decision. It was either going to be her or Anna. And Will assured Michelle that it was her. It was Michelle that he was in love with. However, his actions did not reflect this, and Michelle quickly found that out, and she actually left a voicemail on Will's phone, saying, okay, I guess you made your choice. I just want to know why. Which, honestly, if you are in a situation like this, you don't need to know why. You are the other woman at this point. You don't need to know why. I think I forgot to mention that Will had actually convinced Michelle um, to leave her husband. That he was going to leave Anna and she left her husband. So I guess that's why she was upset. Like, you never should have started an extramarital affair. Anyways. My face is pale and it needs to be But back to the story. So... Will has told Michelle to not worry that he will have the problem fixed by 1800 tomorrow. That is word for word the text he sends Michelle. And Michelle is just kind of like, whatever at this point. You know, I was hope I would be hoping that she would be moving on with her life. So, as you can guess, I'm sure. Will comes up with this story that Anna and him got into a fight, and she left forever. And this is the story he told Michelle, and basically Michelle is over the moon. This is the next day. This was like Thanksgiving. He called uh, Michelle to pick him up, and they ended up having sex in the parking lot of a convenience store. Classy. So after the meeting with Michelle, Will decides to take Anna's debit card or credit card or whatever, and he goes and he withdraws $200 and then withdraws $600. And he deposits 160 of that money into 
his bank account because his car insurance was late and his car insurance company had told him that if he didn't pay it, they were going to cancel him. So he made sure his car payment, his car insurance was paid. Now, okay, I'm gonna use this shade. This whole time, he's texting Anna, Anna and saying, I'm sorry, baby, please come home, just let me know you're safe. Shit like that, like, you're stereotypical crap. Because remember, his story is that he and Anna got into a fight and she left. That's his story. Now, the next day, Anna's body was found on an Oregon trail by a groundskeeper and police were obviously called. And they had found trash all over the crime scene. And it was like trash, like there was a KFC receipt. So of course the police were kind of like, okay, so this could be trash that's old or it could belong to the killer. And they fully believed that it belonged to the killer. So remember how I told you that there was that chick there was a Chick-fil-A, I believe is what it was actually. Receipt. Um and it had no name on it. So they tracked down this Chick-fil-A and Chick-fil-A pulled the um surveillances and all the information and they said yes. At this time there were two transactions made. One was cash and one was card. So the name I believe was a man named Tom. And so the police brought him in. Okay, so that is where Tom says, yeah, that I go to Chick-fil-A every Friday with my brother. And the police ask, who's your brother? And that's when he say, Will Hargrove. And that is how Will Hargrove entered into the conversation. So police obviously bring Will Hargrove in and they talk to him. And of course, it doesn't take police very, very long to find out that Will was Anna's fiance. So police aren't that stupid. Your tax dollars at work, people. So they uh, they figured out everything. And based off of all the information they had, they decided to arrest Will Hargrove on the murder of Anna Repkina. So Will's arrested and charged. They find Michelle and they tried to find evidence on Michelle because this is a love triangle and typically that's who they look for is the partner and the significant other. So they determined Michelle had no information because Michelle actually lied for Will but she had no idea but her reaction when they told her that Will was arrested for the murder of Anna of Anna was weird because she was just like okay. Michelle claims that she did not want Will to end Anna's life, that she just wanted Will to break up with Anna. That's all she wanted, was Will to break up with her and have her get her out of their lives. During the trial, Will's defense team tried to put the reasonable doubt on Michelle and say that Michelle could have done it. It didn't work. Will was found guilty of Anna's murder and her ashes were sent back to Russia. Anna's ashes were sent back to Russia. But this is still sad. It's a <sighs> It's such a sad case. Um I know Will tried to appeal, but I don't think anything came of it, to be honest. Because I couldn't find anything. God, I feel like Kai's gonna blind me one of these days. But yeah, so Will is still in jail for Anna Repkina's murder, and he deserves it. And Michelle, I believe, lives a very sad and lonely life. She says all the time that she never wanted Will to murder Anna. She just wanted Anna gone. She just wanted Will to break up with Anna so that they could live their life together. I have a ton of videos I have to film today. I think I'm going to do a makeup stash, a declutter. I know I'm filming another part of my declutter. I'm going to do some gaming videos today. I got a lot of work cut out uh, today. So yes, that is the murder and the story of Anna Repkina. I'm sure I missed some key details because this is only a 14 minute video. If you're curious, again, check out the 48 hours episode. They are very good at covering this stuff. And they don't have screaming kids in the background that I swear only start screaming when I start filming. So when they hear me talking, they start screaming. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Here, because like I said, I 
have a ton of videos I have to film today, so I gotta get on that shit, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys! You wanna come say bye-bye? Well, he's waving, but you can't see, but he is waving bye. Bye, guys.